Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Onyx Books has just released three new devices that are aimed at the international market. They have Android 11 with full access to the Google Play Store. One is just a basic e-reader and the other two have digital note-taking capabilities. This is probably one of the most eagerly anticipated lineup refresh, which instead of doing incremental updates, they've really done redesigns and make these devices very compelling. Let's look into it. The first new product that I'm excited about is called the Tab Ultra, which has a 16 megapixel camera on the back of it. So you could do OCR and do all of that fun stuff. So the Tab Ultra has a 10.3 inch display with 227 PPI. It is a phantom black color and there is a strip alongside the bezel. So it looks like the spine of a book basically. This has a really deadly Qualcomm octa-core CPU as well as a GPU. This is the fastest Onyx Books tablet that they've ever released. They have a bunch of new speed modes for this and you'll be able to take notes, write inside ebooks, freehand draw. This is a note-taking geogernaut. It comes with the Onyx Book Pen 2 Pro. So this is the top of the line pen with an eraser and buttons on the side of it. And Google Play has compatibility with almost every major ebook format. 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. It's retailing for $5.99 and it's available pretty well right now. It's ship out pretty well like the first couple days of November. So I'm excited about this because it's the first one that has a camera on it. It has a really good form factor. This is similar to the tabs that they've released in China, but they've really gone to town with making this likely the most responsive Onyx book product that they've released internationally to date. So this is the most exciting one in my opinion. There's also the Onyx book Leaf 2, which looks significantly different from like the original model. This actually has manual page turn buttons on the side of the bezel. It kind of reminds me of the Kindle Oasis, but without the hump on the back. So it's a very nice, like it's a non asymmetrical design like the Oasis is. It's basically like a nice slab that fits evenly on the desk in your hands. This might be the product that everybody goes for because it retails for $199 and it doesn't lock you into any specific ecosystem. So it's super easy to turn pages in ebooks or PDF documents. It comes in both a black and white version with different screen types. The black one has a flush screen and bezel with a protective layer of glass, whereas the white one has a sunken screen to adjust to achieve better display quality. You get the both best of both worlds with the leaf. I mean, if you are a fan of flush screen and bezels with a layer of glass protecting it that makes it look sleek and everything, that's cool. If you want to go for a sunken screen and bezel design where text will pop and there is no layer of glass. That's the type of device I personally prefer because I find on 300 PPI displays, which this is, it's a seven inch, you know, 300 PPI display with page turn buttons. This is probably the best bang for buck that you can get. This also has access to Google Play, like right out of the box, pre-installed. You just log into your Google account and away you go. This has, um, a Qualcomm quad core, a CPU, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, USB-C, uh, 2000 mi uh, milliamp battery. It's similar to the Leaf 2 in terms of just the hardware specs alone. But, you know, I think it's the, the two different types of screens that you can get with it. And it's been upgraded to Android 11. So if you're a fan of manual page turn buttons, which is, this is honestly the first Onyx product that has it built into it. The, they're, they've released cases in the past with page turn buttons built into the case, but this is their first device with manual page turn buttons 
built right into it. Very exciting. They finally rounded up their product release with the Nova Air 2, which is a 7.8 inch E-Note with 300 PPI. It's a seven, so basically this is a digital note taking device. It basically is an upgraded um, Qualcomm processor from like the original. It has ivory white bezels and a back plating. So it's, it's pure like snow white on the front and the back of it, which makes it compelling. A Wacom display, so you can use any Wacom enabled pen with this device. Um, it's running an octa-core Qualcomm 662 CPU, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, and all these devices have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and big batteries. So this is actually very light. It's 235 grams. And this is running on retail for 339 and again, the Leaf 2. 199 and the tab ultra 599 so they are hitting all the price points with this which one should you get i would probably go either for the leaf 2 or the tab ultra mainly because of the price for the you know the leaf 2 the price is right whereas the tab ultra with the added speed modes that they've really introduced you can do any type of tasks with this and it will be your new best friend when it comes to e-paper displays. So once we get our hands on it, we're gonna do unboxings and full reviews. You can expect that in the coming weeks. For goodreader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.